When Disney announced the Marvels, they were so excited because it had so much diversity. Three women, including two women of color as the leads. You, of course, had a woman of color as the director. This is going to be a stunning and brave movie that breaks all the records. Well, it certainly is breaking records, but not the ones that Marvel would like because the Marvels is officially a box office failure. We know that the opening weekend was the lowest in MCU history by a long shot. And now we know that they've set yet another box office record low. The Marvels earned around 2.4 million on Monday at the domestic box office. It's the lowest first Monday ever for the MCU and a 74% drop off from Sunday. To put that in perspective, that drop up is very comparable to something like Eternals, which had a miserable hold. It's significantly worse than something like Ant-Man of the Wasp Quantumania, which didn't have a great hold either. So now not only do we have a terrible opening, but we might be looking at a massive drop off for the Marvels in its second weekend. And now that its failure is apparent to everybody, to all the people that were making excuses, that were saying, you're gonna be wrong about the box office, it's not going to flop. They've shifted into blame mode, blaming everybody else, blaming men, blaming people for bigotry and racism when the reality is this was not a good movie. Marvel did not help themselves because they made it all about the message. They made it all about the agenda in the lead-up, the promotion of this movie. It was all about three stunning and brave women, a female villain, all directed by a woman, Nia DaCosta. And despite all of the people out there saying, it's just because people hate women, it's because men hate women that all this is failing. You see all these shills out there doing the damage control. The reality is 65% of the people that went and saw this bullshit were men. Women also didn't show up because they weren't interested. And now, Nia DaCosta is responding to the toxic sides of fandom because you knew they were going to roll that same old excuse out here. It's in this article from Variety a few days ago. Nia DaCosta decided she would address the, the toxic part of fandom out there, the anti-woke crowd, right? How the Marvels got its blurred girl energy. How Nia DaCosta ignored the haters and made the movie her teenage self would want to see. Well, unfortunately, by focusing on the blurred girl energy, being a black girl nerd, all right, that's all you guys care about, right? That's all you care about, not about a story, not about compelling characters, about the diversity and representation. By making a movie where you ignored the fan base, you call them haters, we can call them the fan base, and decided to make a movie for yourself, you made something that interested no one. It's a catastrophic failure. But let's look at the response. The Marvel's director responds to woke sequel backlash. The Marvel's director, Nita Costa, responded to complaints that her MCU film is too woke. I will say this. I think the idea, the reason this is happening is because the agenda with the MCU. The reason this movie even came to be. Right, a character that got inserted the last second in, in Captain Marvel, made to be the most powerful person in the MCU because Kevin Feige wanted that diversity. They intentionally decided to surround her with these other characters that people were not interested in. They intentionally went out and got Nia DaCosta to direct this because she fit the mold, the diversity representation that they wanted. They gender swapped a villain so they could have another female villain. Like this entire thing from the get go was all about agenda instead of about actually telling a story that was compelling and that people wanted to see. And any fans that said, wow, I'm not really interested in that, you got labeled something. You got labeled toxic. You got labeled a hater. You got labeled a misogynist, all while women also aren't showing up to see this bullshit. Uh, but let's look at this here. The Marvel's director breaks down woke complaints. In a new interview with Variety, Nia DaCosta broke down her superpowered blockbuster being called woke by some moviegoers. Quote, there are pockets where you go because you're like, I'm a super fan. I want to just exist in a space of just adoration, which includes civilized critique. Then there are pockets that are really virulent and violent and racist and sexist and homophobic and all those awful things. Please put out all the buzzwords. And I choose the side of light. That's the part of fandom I'm most attracted to. Oh, the side of light. I'm interested to know what part of the fandom that is and if your side of light, the, the good people in the fandom, do they go out and like support these movies? Do they go buy tickets? Apparently not. Apparently that doesn't happen. And of course we know that people that are being labeled violent, racist, sexist, homophobic, all of this stuff that she just labeled those fans, in large part, it's people that have legitimate criticisms of where the MCU has been going for the past several years. That's what we've seen. That is the exactly what they do time after time. So you can continue to virtue signal by labeling you know, people that are critical of your movie with those buzzwords that mean nothing anymore in the grand scheme of things. But the reality is people can see right through this. 
The, the people out there that are desperately trying to do damage control for this and just say, uh, oh, if you say woke, if you say MC or first diversity, that's a sexist and bigoted term. Uh, you can try to blame misogyny and sexism. You can try to blame all of these things. You can try to label anybody that didn't go see the Marvels as that. But the reality is people see straight through this bullshit. So congratulations, Nia DaCosta. You have the biggest failure in the history of the MCU by rejecting any and all criticism, labeling those people as bigots, essentially. Uh, you're choosing the light side. How stunning and brave, just like this movie. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.